Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Friday, so it's a weigh-in day. I'm here to share with you how my week went, my weigh-in, the WW workshop topic, and we'll set some goals moving into the next week. So if you're excited for today's video, give it a big huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and lets me know that you enjoy these Friday weigh-in videos. And don't forget, if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, that you hit the little subscribe button and of course the bell next to it so you don't miss a single video. Check out the description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macro and calorie calculation absolutely essential to lose weight. Whether you're losing or maintaining, you have to know how many calories and macronutrients you should be consuming every single day. I also offer 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. So take advantage of working one-on-one -on -one directly with me. Let me help you reach your goals, help you through your struggles, or give you the pep talk that you just might need when you're having a rough moment. So definitely check that out down in the description box. Links, discount codes to all of my favorite things, and my Facebook group are also down down in the description box. Head on over and join us. We'd love to have you over there as well. So we have a weigh in, a workshop topic. We have a week to talk about and some goals to set. So let's jump in. So first I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about my week. I had a great week. I felt a bigger sense of motivation and I think a lot of that stems from having to step on the scale every single morning. I will say that I'm not loving stepping on the scale every single morning. A lot of times I almost forget. I think about drinking my coffee and then remember, shoot, I gotta get on the scale. So I'm not loving it. I'm finding it to be a little bit tedious, but I will say that on the positive side of weighing in every morning, it's really helping me stay on track. I don't wanna overindulge and then have to weigh in the next day. So mentally, it has helped me a little bit when it comes to that. Now, speaking of weighing in every day, I told you that I would share with you what my thoughts are moving forward as far as daily weigh-ins. So I challenged myself to weigh in every day in the month of February, which I am doing and will continue to do until month's end. But I've made the decision that I'm not going to weigh daily moving into March. It was a nice experiment for February and it did help keep me on track, which I'm hoping that momentum continues in the month of March and going back to weighing in just one day a week on Friday mornings. Now, if I need that little extra motivation or even reassurance throughout the week, I have no problem stepping on the scale, but I'm going to commit to once a week moving forward into the month of March. So along with weighing in every day, I had a good week of eating. I got in my three days of jazzercise, cleaned my house, which gives me over 5,000 steps and some active minutes as well. So overall, exercise and food went really, really well this week. I actually wouldn't make any changes. I think it was a stellar week. But before we jump into my weigh-in results for the week, I wanna to talk to you guys about the topic because it really truly goes hand in hand with what I've just been talking about, about weighing in every day versus once a week. So the topic is, are you not seeing the number on the scale that you wanna see? We all know that the scale is data. It's a box on the floor that gives us data and numbers. It's not the be all end all. It's not the only indication of our success on our weight loss journey. There are so many other indications. Taking your measurements, non-scale victories, seeing a change in your clothes, feeling stronger and healthier. So today we're gonna focus on those non-scale victories. Progress isn't only related to the number that we see on the scale. Non-scale victories help us see the bigger picture, but also help us stay motivated. So think about this. If there were no such things as scales or scales didn't exist, how would you track your progress? Spend a few minutes and think about your journey and what have you done? What progress have you made that has absolutely nothing to do with the scale? Write down three things that have changed non-scale related just in the last month. Are your clothes fitting better? Better? Are you feeling healthier and stronger? Do you have less chronic pain or fatigue? Take a minute and really think about three things non-scale related that have changed for the better 
in the last month. One of these three things may be a healthy habit that you've created. Maybe you've started a workout routine or maybe you've stopped snacking at night. Really think hard and dive deep into what's changed in the last month. Think about what impact this has had on you. Maybe you've learned to cook and you've tried healthier meals that makes weight loss a little bit more enjoyable for you. Now reflect on the big picture. How are these three non-scale victories going to help you reach your goals and how are they also going to help keep you on track and motivated? How are these three things different when it comes to motivation versus just that number on the scale? I don't know about you, but in the past, not so much now, but in the past, that number on the scale meant everything to me. And if I got on the scale and saw a gain or a maintain when I felt like I did everything right, it could completely derail me, not just for the day, but sometimes for the entire next week. That was one of the big reasons that I made a commitment to myself not to have the scale be the only thing that matters to me. Think about how you're going to pay attention to these on scale victories and pay a little bit less attention to the number on the scale. Fun fact, 82% of WW members said that thinking about past successes, not scale related, has helped them not only stay on track, but get back on track when they've fallen off. I personally think non-scale victories and changes not relating to the scale are even more important than those that are related to the scale. So down in the comments, let me know what were your three positive changes that you saw this last month. And if this kind of made the wheels start turning for you, and made you think about maybe having less of a focus on the number and more of a focus on the non-scale results that you're seeing. So now it's the time that you've all been waiting for. We're going to jump into this week's weigh-in. Like I said, I could not have had a better week overall. I found myself staying on track, getting in my exercise, and luckily that all resulted in a great weigh-in this week. When I stepped on the scale, I'm down 1.4 pounds. That means that I've lost almost every week in the month of February, with the exception of that one week. That one week, my least favorite time of the month that I saw a gain. So I'm going to put my overall weight loss for the month of February right here on the screen for you. I'm thrilled with that. Like I mentioned, the scale's not everything to me. So I am feeling healthier, stronger, and honestly, most importantly, more in control. And that's huge for me. So moving into March, I'm going to be doing more of the same. My commitment is three days a week at Jazzercise, but with my husband being home on a medical leave, I'm thinking that I may try to get in an extra day during the week. I'm not going to plan it, but in the event that I have time, I'll try to work that in to make it four days in a week of working out. I'm also going to continue to stay on track, track every single day, honestly, good or bad, I'm going to track everything. I'm going to hit my calorie goal with points as my secondary measure, and I'm hoping to have a very successful month of March. I shared in a past video that we're getting another dog. His name is Palmer. He's a French tin, 75% French Bulldog, 25% Boston Terrier, and we're getting him at the end of March. So I really need to be on my game before and especially once we get him because he's going to take up a lot of time. So I've committed to myself to continue working out and continue life as normal, even though we're going to add a new puppy to the mix. Don't worry, I'm vlogging the entire thing. We're actually driving eight hours one way to pick him up, so there'll be a lot of fun footage the first time we meet Palmer for you guys to see in a future video. So now I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know how your week went. If you weighed in every day in February, are you going to continue to do that moving forward? And just let me know what your three successes in the last month were non-scale related. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Don't miss a single video. I do upload most days of the week. And if you ring the bell next to the subscribe button, you'll just be notified when new videos are uploaded. That way you're not missing out. I do a weigh in every single Friday. Again, check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Thank you so much for spending some of your Friday with me. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul.